guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alexa and today I'm bringing you a coffee talk. As you guys know, coffee talks are probably one of my favorite kinds of kinds. I adore coffee, first of all, so it gives me an excuse to pour another cup. And second of all, I just like talking about interesting topics that like pique my interest, you know what I mean? This coffee is actually a really hot though, so I'm gonna set it down for a couple minutes until it cools down and then we will be drinking it, believe you me. Okay, so today I thought I'd talk about how to turn your goals into daily habits so that way you make progress on your goals. The reason why I really wanted to sit down and talk to you face to face about this is because I was just thinking about life. There's a lot of content that's been coming out about just like goal setting and like planning and all that stuff and when I was thinking about my life, I think a lot of the reasons why my New Year's resolutions haven't worked out in past years is because by February or maybe even March if I make it really far, I've literally forgotten all about my New Year's resolutions and they're just like out of my mind. And this year I've been making it like a forefront of my brain. Is that, is that even real? <laughs> I've been keeping it in the front of my head to have these goals in mind so that way I can like look back on 2020 and be like, wow, this was the best year yet. So let me pull up some statistics for you. All right, so this is from the New York Post online and it says, about 8% of people achieve their New Year's goals while around 80% fail to keep their New Year's resolutions. Just talking face to face, I think the reason why I failed a lot of my resolutions in the past is just because my goals were way too big and I didn't know how to break them down effectively so that way I could actually like achieve them. You feel me? We're on the same page. So I've been listening to a lot of inspiring content and also like absorbing a lot of inspiring content. Um, at the beginning of this year, I read The Power of Now, which was like a huge like thing for me. And um, also I've been listening to a lot of inspiring podcasts. I've been listening to Kaylin's Coffee Talk, which I've been a long time listener of that. I also found a couple of new podcasts that I absolutely love and those are Manifest with Tori D. Simone and also what we said very good podcast believe me um i highly highly recommend those three podcasts those are like where i get my inspiring content in my brain that's where it, that's where it comes from so honestly today is just kind of like a mixture a mixing pot of those podcasts and just kind of what i've taken from them that i think is really important so like I said, a lot of people set really big goals and then really struggle to achieve them. What I'm going to kind of talk about today is like, so for example, one of my goals this year is to read 24 books this year. I might look at that number and be like, 24, that's huge. That's what I did last year and that's why I didn't achieve my goal last year. Um, but this year, instead of looking at the 24 books, I'm like, well, how many books a month is that? That's two books a month. And then I break it down even further by being like, if I read one chapter every day, then I'm making forward progress. So all I have to focus on is the one chapter a day and not the 24 books a year because the 24 books a year, just like it's too much for my brain to handle. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do, get out a piece of paper or just grab your phone, whatever. Get out a piece of paper, pause this video and write down all of your priorities in your life. So for me, when I was writing them out, this was like my relationship, um, my family, like things like that, things that are your priorities. Maybe it's your job, maybe it's like your, your pets, who knows, I don't know what your priorities are. But make a list of all your priorities in your life. Pause the video. All right, so now that you've had your priorities written down, you know all your priorities, maybe you have like three, maybe you have 10, who knows. You do you, sister, <laughs> but for me, I wrote down all my priorities and look at your list. Now tell me, how far down the list did you put yourself? That wasn't my line, that was Tori De Simone, but like that was, that was like iconic for me because I was like, oh, I just spilled my coffee. Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, anyways, so now that you've written out your list, look at how far down the list yourself is because this is something when I made my list, I was like, wow, I did not even think to put myself on the list. So like, fill yourself up to fill other people up. Anyways, so take your priorities, 
and go one by one down the list. So let's say my number one is myself. I'm going to write out three things about myself that I am going to make a goal. And this should be more of a short term thing, not a long term thing. So what do I need to do in the short term to make sure that this priority of mine flourishes? So for myself, I might say, um, once a week have a self care day. Um, I might say, every morning go through my morning routine because it makes me a better person. I might say, try to go to the gym six times a week or five times a week, or however many times. But that's like just an example for myself. You go through and you do like for yourself, for your relationship, for like if you have kids, for your um, health, for your, I don't know, whatever your priorities are, make three to five goals for each priority. So pause the video and do that quick. That is like life changing. So now you have goals that are more short term. If you need to break it down a step further, that's like completely fine. But I highly recommend doing these goals, just like kind of write them out and just be able to see them. Put them somewhere where you'll see them often, whether it's in your planner, whether it's just on a piece of paper that you put like next to your bed, I don't know. Um, mine are in my bullet journal, so I use this every day. So whatever works for you, honestly. Um, but there was a quote in Tori D. Simone's podcast episode when she talked about this. Um, I can tell you the name of the episode if you guys want to listen to it. The episode was, You Can Have It All. And there was a quote that she said that I thought was really, really good for this topic. And it's, your priorities determine your goals, which make your daily habits. Or determine your daily habits, I think she said. The way that we break down our goals will help us see those things day to day. So me saying that um, I want to work out six times a week. That means that I see that goal and I'm like, well, I have five more times to go this week. When I say I want to work out more, that's not specific enough. If I say I want to have a self-care day once a week, that is something that is so attainable than saying like I need a self-care day. And I think the way that we break it down and the way we word things are very, very important. Something that I recently started doing, which I have absolutely loved, is bullet journaling. And I think I've talked about this before, but oh yes, in my morning routine, I talked about my habit tracker. And this is something that has helped me do my daily goals at such a good level, if that makes sense. Let me show you my habit tracker for February. All right, this is my habit tracker for February. So I had wrote down a bunch of things that I wanted to be daily things that I did every single day. And then I tracked how many times I've done it. And this was life-changing for me and maybe it doesn't have to be something that, that that's that interactive with you but just knowing what are your short-term goals that will help you reach your long-term goals I think is essential a couple times a year however long that you need you might need to update these goals so I think it's good to take a look at it once again later on and just kind of see where you're at I know this is probably like a shorter coffee talk and it's not like the most life-changing of ever. But I just kind of wanted to share what I heard on Tori's podcast as well as a couple of others. You're gonna notice there's gonna be a couple more coffee talks coming up that are very much like inspirationally based, if that makes sense. I have been finding inspiration around every corner lately and I'm really trying to be a more positive, happy person. So I hope that me spreading the love, <laughs> me spreading the podcast love and book love and everything. I really hope that it can be something that's inspiring and something that maybe motivates you to look at what your priorities are. Even just writing a list of your priorities, I, that was something I never would have done a couple years ago. And like being able to see what my priorities are and actually like be mindful, life changing. Here's game. Every time I say life changing, take a shot. Of espresso, of course. I'd really appreciate if you guys clicked that subscribe button. Also click that bell down there and that will notify you every time I post a video. I post every Thursday and Saturday. I would really appreciate if you guys subscribed. I'm this close to 200, so I'm really excited. Um, but I will see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching this talk. Bye.